Alright, so let's see what's going on on social media. This is how sometimes I start doing some of my videos to see what they, what's out there. For instance, here Sky News just put out Kate Blanchett says she has injured her head in an accident with <laughs> chainsaw in her home during lockdown. What the hell was she doing? Anywho, let's see. Let's get out of this one. Let's see what's going on. There it is. Okay. The U.S. Park Police now admit to use tear gas on peaceful protesters, reversing the earlier statement lying about it. And in contrast to public interviews given by Trump and the press secretary. Alright, so this, I won't even go into it. This is something that's going to give me a headache. So we have here someone just put i think that was funny no kneeling stand up straight you first and let's, this is how he's looking that is kind of funny and i think i said something earlier i was like no you're wrong chiropractor first <laughs> but anywho let's go to the next one what's this ah uh, that's right no kneeling never thought i'd agree with you what is that Okay, oh, that's when this. Okay, I don't even need to see this. Alright, just in. Michael Jordan and Jordan Brand to donate 100 million over the next decade to organization dedicated to racial inequality. I think if I had money, this is something like that I would do. Because to create an organization and manage it and uh, you know do all those work ins and outs takes a lot of work and you have to have a lot of people you trust who could do what you say you want to be done so if i had money i think i'll do what uh, michael jordan uh is it the brand yeah his brand so it's not i don't know how the brand works if it's him or if it's the company nike who's gonna do that so i'm not sure so I'm just reading the headlines. I'm not even gonna go. Okay, let's click on it for argument's sake. Okay, wow. I would think they'll be against racial inequality. Okay, Michael Jordan has traditionally taken profit over social justice. This is shocking. Um, this one I'm not even gonna comment on it, but I'm gonna meaning typing into t Twitter to this user. Uh, one thing I know about Michael Jordan, I think is in Chicago, I'm not sure where I saw it, where Michael Jordan actually created, I think, a hospital. You know what? Let's search it. Alright, Michael Jordan Hospital. Let's see. Look like it's in Charlotte. Let's see where, what's going on. Michael Jordan has funded a clinic to serve patients. You see, I knew he did that a while back. Uh, 2019, I think the video came. So <clears throat> let's click on this video. I'm not going to play all of it because uh, what's going on? Play. All right. All right. Let's skip that. All right. So I will, you know what? Let me copy. Uh the I links stand here before you as a, uh, so I could uh, proud share that link with you guys. Son, so obviously a member of this community. He has done uh, certain things brothers, quietly. Brothers, uh, so I'll just pause here. So he has done a couple of things quietly where he donate money. He doesn't go public and say things, but he has done some stuff. So one of this is one of the things to answer this guy's question where is it you know what guess what i'm gonna paste that link on this just i'm not gonna say anything i'm just gonna paste it all uh, right let's see that's it that's it this is him just to answer him i should say i'm gonna drop this here so there i just uh tweet that whatever i just saw the video i just saw i just pasted in his thing so yeah what else uh dedicate to racial inequality that's horrible okay so i'm you know what too many negative inequality not and okay equality not inequality okay but whatever all right let's go to the next one 
All right, main GOP Senator Collin is facing a tough re-election this fall when President Trump visited the state today. She wasn't be there to greet him. This woman, let's just leave it as that. Nothing, I don't know what. I love Maine. We went to Maine several times for summer vacation. I love me. I really do. If I had money, I would buy a house there, even though I hate the winter, snow, and stuff like that. But I love me in the summer. So I hope Maine residents wake up. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not even going to go into the uh, comment section. Daily Beast, a member of Hawaii National Guard was suspended from duty. Okay, so that's that things that you already know what the thing is about so I don't even need to go in that to disturb my piece of my work money that's ad. Uh, so this picture is very disturbing I am not gonna click on it but you have an idea of what it is about so we know what it is about so here this is what is uh, Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutt said he expressed black Pete, a figure from pre-Christmas celebration that was that has been criticized as racist uh, caricature will disappear all right so that's you know as much as I'm you know how will I say this I don't want to misinterpret or say the wor wrong word but um it's gonna take time let's just say that it's gonna take time let's say if all of this that's going around the world people protesting they see what many black uh, African Americans have been saying they witness it and now some of them are facing it themselves being shoved by police it will take time for many whites to retrain their mind of what African American have been facing. It's gonna take time. So we have to be ready for what's gonna come. Uh, and just think about a child, a baby, learning to crawl, walk, and eventually start being independent. So it's gonna take time. So this, I don't know much about it. I'm not even gonna click on it because it's from what? Dutch. I don't even need to click on it. These are things that will disturb my mind. All right, let's see. I'm going to look at two two more posts and then I'm done. DC Mayor requests Trump withdraw all extraordinary federal law enforcement and military presence. I sort of saw about it someplace else. So, yeah, that's it. Let's see what this person said. No kneeling, just hiding behind a baby gate while threatening peaceful protesters. Sad. Okay. Which knee bothers you most? Yeah. I just saw that picture, so I don't even... I know what this is about, because one of my last two posts had a similar picture, so I know what this is about. All right, let's see. New England Pritchard owner pledged $1 million to social justice cause. I'm going to take a deep breath on that, because you guys need to do your own research about him let's just say so do your own research about him I'm not even gonna click on that what else want to investigate the police but don't know how to start use the same technique as investigating journalists to access public record okay here are some tips to hold law enforcement accountable and examine police conduct let's click on that that sounds interesting that'll be my last one <laughs> oh, that's a meme. That's really uh, funny. How to investigate police, a journalist, a public record guard. All right, that's kind of funny. So, yeah, that's it. This is how uh, sometimes I uh, go through social media, see what triggers my uh, mind, 
what uh, make me think of certain things to start posting on my family channel which I very rarely do on my family channel so yep thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share